Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, good morning from uh, uh, Brussels. Uh, I'm delighted once again to be uh, offered the possibility to present you the latest data and uh, uh, future challenges for road safety in the European Union to uh, the uh, 13th international conference held today in uh, Banyaluca. Also uh, delighted that uh, uh, we can give the patronage to this uh, um, conference uh, uh, following the um, long uh, uh, standing cooperation which uh, we have uh, uh, with the um, Traffic Safety Agency of the Republic of uh, um, Serbska. Um, it is, uh, as you know, a conference about uh, road safety, but uh, I would like to start with uh, uh, some aviation safety to tell you about these uh, uh, um, uh, uh, mid-air uh, incidents that uh, a plane from uh, Alaska Airlines had uh, uh, last year. You probably all know about that. There was uh, a door which uh, uh, was uh, lost uh, mid-flight, and uh, now we have... Uh, accident investigations, uh, uh, the press is talking about that, the regulator is very attentive to what uh, uh, has happened and what is going on, and basically everybody in the public is aware about that. And still, there were no casualties in uh, this uh, uh, incident. And this is just to stress, possibly once again, how different the perception is between uh, aviation safety, maritime safety, rail safety on the one side, and road safety on the other side. Well, in the European Union alone, 20,418 people lost their lives in uh, road traffic collisions in uh, 2023, which is uh, more than uh, 50 every day, and basically takes us three days to have uh, in the European Union as many collisions as uh, uh, a flight having uh, a um, um, collision and uh, no survivors. Um, what is uh, the European uh, Union doing uh, to uh, improve road safety in uh, the current decade. Of course, uh, we have uh, a long-term objective uh, of uh, reaching the safe system and uh, zero road deaths by uh, 2020, but also the objective to divide by half the number of deaths and uh, serious injuries by uh, the end of uh, the um, year 2030. If we look at uh, uh, the progress uh, since uh, the baseline year, of 2019, well, uh, we see that uh, the reduction for uh, the EU27 has only been 10%, with actually uh, too many member states in which instead of, of uh, uh, recording a decrease, uh, uh, we have witnessed an increase in the number of road deaths. And for the EU average, 10%, uh, which is actually uh, very much different than the 22%, which would have been needed uh, um, in case we wanted to be on track with the uh, target. Uh, um, uh, if we look uh, at a longer um, time period uh, between 2013 and uh, uh, 2023, well, we can see how the first uh, uh, six years in the decade have been uh, a sort of stagnation, then uh, an uh, important uh, reduction because of the COVID years, so uh, less mobility, uh, working from home, uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, less freedom to move around. And then, uh, unfortunately, uh, deaths have uh, started to uh, pick up again in uh, the years 2021-2022 uh, and uh, 2023. This is uh, a background for uh, a, a breakup, sorry, for uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, European countries in uh, uh, the last uh, uh, decade. Well, uh, uh, in, if we look at data for the last decade, no um, country has uh, uh, reached the target of reducing by half the number of road deaths, and the EU average has been only uh, 16%. Uh, when it comes to road mortality, uh, that means the uh, number of deaths per uh, a billion population, well, uh, um, there has been uh, improvement, of course, in the last decade from uh, 46 uh, in uh, uh, from 55 in 2013 to uh, 46 in uh, 2023 but we are still uh, far away from uh, having uh, a uniform uh, uh, distribution of road mortality in uh, the uh, European uh, Union um, what you see now is uh, uh, a, a the reduction in road mortality in uh, um, the last uh, 
20 years. And this is, uh, I would say, impressive. It should uh, uh, show us uh, how uh, certainly improvement has been made in the last 20 years. You see, for example, uh, um, there is no single country any longer having uh, a death rate of uh, 100 or above. And uh, um, the situation in the last 20 years has uh, um, clearly uh, shown significant improvements in the EU. Of course, we should not uh, be complacent. We should uh, not rest on uh, uh, the laurels of uh, the achievements. We need to keep uh, on working to reduce the number of deaths in uh, uh, Europe. And uh, so far, I've not mentioned uh, uh, serious injuries, which, uh, uh, according to uh, the latest uh, uh, underestimated figure that we have, uh, show a number in excess of 110,000 per year in uh, uh, the countries that are um, collecting data in uh, the uh, EU. Um, some uh, recommendations which uh, uh, we uh, uh, are um, developing for uh, uh, the national uh, uh, um, policymakers and uh, uh, which we think will uh, apply also uh, to uh, uh, the Republic of Serbska. Uh, first and foremost, well, uh, adopt and implement the safe system approach to road safety. This is uh, um, certainly uh, a paramount. Provide uh, sufficient government funds. Uh, unfortunately, uh, road safety needs uh, financial support uh, with the understanding that uh, uh, um, every uh, um, single uh, um, uh, in cost, what we see as normally as a cost in uh, uh, road safety is not actually a cost, but it is rather an investment. Uh, um, make this choice of uh, road safety measures to be applied based on uh, sound scientific evaluation. So not just on public pressure, not just on uh, uh, um, uh, decisions that are not grounded on science and uh, research. And uh, uh, for countries that have not done yet so well, set targets to reduce by half the number of deaths and uh, uh, serious injuries in uh, uh, between uh, 2020 and 2030. Some more recommendations that are more for uh, the um, EU, the importance of uh, uh, prioritizing uh, uh, road safety uh, again and continuing to make it a high priority for uh, uh, the current uh, uh, decade, creating a road safety agency. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be uh, talking at a conference organized by a road safety agency in the Republic of Serbia, which uh, means that uh, uh, you've actually implemented a very important road safety measure, the one of having uh, an agency which can uh, coordinate uh, uh, road safety work. Don't forget the importance of vehicle safety regulations. Uh, uh, strong regulations on vehicle safety can uh, uh, save uh, uh, many lives uh, in uh, uh, road uh, um, transport. Uh, and uh, um, well, um, that was uh, in a nutshell, a bit of an update on uh, the uh, European Union, on the data, on uh, uh, the policies. I hope that this will be uh, useful also in uh, uh, giving you inspiration for uh, today's uh, deliberations uh, uh, in uh, the conference. And uh, uh, I would like therefore to take this uh, opportunity to um, wish you a nice uh, uh, day of work with the hope that uh, next year I will be able to be personally with you. Thank you very much.